the MG1 basically was the same fundamental synthesizer that we were building for liberation. So in a sense, there was a kind of dual manufacturing going on, and this would be in 1979 and 1980, because the MG1 didn't get into Radio Shack advertising until the beginning of 1981. The basic philosophy, besides the idea of developing an instrument that could put a player in front of the band and show electronic music and the electronic sound as perhaps the most important sound that could be heard in that band, the original philosophy was to expand the whole world of Moog and take over where some other companies were not successful. Mm -hmm. 